Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's, and here we have a Ford S Max with the engine malfunction on the dashboard. We're going to plug it in just inside the uh, cubby box there. We're going to go through to the Ford and run some diagnostics on it. We're just running an auto scan and it's going to go through all of the systems and see what faults we have. So we've got one fault on the power control module. And that is P244C. And we've got this 00-60 there as well. Exhaust temperature too low for the part particle filter regeneration. We're going back and we're going to go into live data. We're going to find those items that are related to the DPF. Exhaust gas temperature sensor and all of the other related stuff. Okay, so the DPF there is at 64%. And we've got... Exhaust gas temperature sensor 1 and 2, 110 degrees, so we're going to see if any of those are moving if, once we get the temperature up a little bit on the car. Okay, so we can see that by accelerating the car, the temperature is rising, so the sensors are working, and they've both got 5 volts on them. So... This most likely is the DPF vaporizer we've done on, we've done dozens of these before and we're gonna go underneath the car and pull that off. Uh, there is ways to test it but um, if you're lucky enough to get it off in one piece then you can test it but uh, it's most likely gonna need uh, to be damaged while we're getting that off. Got the mighty vac connected to the fuel line. You can see if we had pressure. It's partially blocked. So now we've tested that old one for the blockage. We're going to connect it up to the new one here. And we'll squeeze it again. And you see, no matter how much we squeeze, it's not building up any pressure. Whereas the other one is taking like 10 psi to push the pressure through. So both the new vapors on, and it's all plugged up. Now that the vaporizer is fitted, I'm going to go into the hot functions here on the Autel, into the particle filter, and I'm going to prime up the fuel system vaporizer. Yes. Turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition on. And now we should see a timer come up. So we'll wait until that's finished. So this guy's had this car at a uh, another garage, I think it was like Quick Fitter Halford or something. They couldn't do the regeneration because it was failing, obviously because the temperature is not reaching what it should. So we'll see if we can regenerate it now. It doesn't need regeneration, it's only at 60% but we're just going to run one anyway and get it down. So the engine temperature is where it should be so we can go ahead and start the regeneration and just see if it, if it completes. If it completes you know it's, uh, it's reaching its temperature and then we can go into the live data and read the temperatures as well. That's just running up there now. It's done a successful regeneration there, and we're going to go in and have a look at the live data now again. And here we can see the live data again. Acceleration just to see the temperature increase slightly. There you go. And DPF is at 9% there currently. So everything seems okay. So 
assault on. See you in the next video.